Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Paula. So in this video, I tried something that I saw on TikTok, which is something called slugging. According to Google, slugging is a well-known moisturizing technique that involves slathering the face with an occlusive product as a last step in your evening skincare routine. The skincare trend gets its name from the slug light shine it leaves on your face after applying your slugging product of choice. So people love people on TikTok love to exaggerate, like like actually, like every single trend. I feel like it's just over exaggerated like you really can't tell if it's real or not because people just love to like they're not lying but they're just like not telling the truth totally so i thought i would take this into my own hands and try slugging for seven days also i looked up like slugging before and after on youtube and i really couldn't find any videos of people doing this like actually doing it on youtube like every single day and documenting their results so i thought i would do that so i use aquaphor and that was my slugging product of choice now there is a ton of different slugging products People use Vaseline, people use like just different products, but I chose to use Aquaphor because this was like the one that was most talked about on TikTok and if you probably look up like slugging, you probably will see people using Aquaphor, so I thought I would use it. So for seven days, I basically showed you guys me doing this slugging except for one day. I only missed one day of not doing this and that was day three because I just forgot like I did my skincare I didn't even do my skincare routine that night because if I did I think I would have done it so I'm gonna go ahead and roll the clips from the last seven days okay so this is day one of me using the famous aquaphor healing ointment on my face for seven days I just got out of the shower and I haven't used any product on my skin it's dry I need to moisturize it I use this cleanser in the shower. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Cleanser from the Inky List brand. And it's very hydrating, but my skin is kind of getting dry. So I'm gonna do a little quick, um, I'm gonna do a quick zoom in of my face so we can compare before and after at the end of the seven days. So this is the left side of my face. I really hope it'll focus. Let's go up and down. It's not focusing, I'm sorry. This is the middle and this is the right side. Um, I have a lot of, my main concerns right now is just my dark spots. I used to have a ton of acne in the past and so as they've gone away, I've had a lot of dark marks. So we're gonna go ahead and use the product. So here's it, here's the aqua four. Um, I'm just gonna take a little bit. If I break out, I'm gonna be so mad. Like I think that's that's enough. Maybe not that much. But we're just gonna put it in as a moisturizer. Okay, so my face is basically drenched in this product. So here's after I put it on, <laughs> I just look oily. But here's my skin. And yeah. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Okay, so this is day two of me using the Aquaphor um, healing ointment on my face at night i basically just washed my face in the shower with the exact same product and then i put it on and then this is day three of me doing the exact same thing washing my face and putting on the aquifer kind of like a thin layer of mask i would describe it like i didn't put a lot but i put enough to where my skin was like noticeably oilier i was kind of like scared that i would like break out because i do have oily skin and i had heard people say that like this like caused them to like worsen their acne and like they were breaking out so that was my concern but lucky for me like 
day three right here i wasn't having any breakouts like my skin pretty much stayed the same until about this day and i was like okay i was i was pretty good you know and then day four did the same thing washed my face with the exact same cleanser and then went ahead and used aquaphor once again as a thin layer so i uh, going into this i was actually really scared because my skin breaks out uh, like pretty like fast if you haven't watched my other skincare videos i will link them above but my skin has a tendency to react a certain way so if you have oily skin this can be a sign that you should definitely try it out because my skin did not break out and this was day four i think either day four or day five i'm not really sure but my skin didn't break out and as you can see it was looking very glowy very 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 glowy and then um, the next day, I used it also pretty much the exact same. And I will say that um, I recommend using it a few hours before you go to bed because it did kind of stay in my pillowcase a little bit. So, like, obviously, it's like oil and it's going to go in your pillowcase. So, if you're going to go to bed at, like, 10, definitely do your skincare routine at, like, 7 p.m. So, that way, it's not as heavy on your face and it doesn't, like go onto your pillowcase because then your skin doesn't really get to absorb it it's just going on your pillowcase but yeah honestly it was pretty smooth these days i did have like one or two pimple breakouts but that's just how my skin reacts so i wouldn't say it's from aquaphor but for the most part as you can see my skin was like it was glowing it was it was thriving like it was doing really really good so it is the very last day of this why is it zooming in so Okay. Right. Let's zoom out. Let's zoom out. Let's zoom out. All right. <clears throat> hey guys. So it's the very last day of this TikTok slugging with Aquaphor challenge, and so let's do the very last day. I just washed my face, and I have my Aquaphor. I'm going to do the before and after tomorrow show you guys how my skin looks like before seven days of using it and after seven days of using aquaphor on my face every night so let's get into the last day let's just put this warm because per honestly i think there is a difference in my skin i find that when i wake up in the morning i'm gonna try and like get like a clip of me in the morning when i first wake up because i feel like my skin looks a lot brighter and just more moisturized and just better so i'm gonna try and do that tomorrow but let's go ahead. oh the lighting okay so this is after i put aquaphor on my face i look oily after i do it every night but i feel like it's just like a nice little glow so here's the left side of my face if it'll focus i think there's some improvement but we're not gonna know till tomorrow morning and then here's the right side of my face I think there's actually improvement in my skin, but I'm going to get a clip of myself when I wake up tomorrow morning to see how my skin looks like, and then we can compare later the before and after. Okay, we're back. Now that you guys have seen my seven day little time lapse of me using alcohol to slug my skin every night i'm gonna go over some stuff that i learned this past seven days from doing it and then after i'm gonna go into my before and my after and the first time i did this i thought i was gonna break out like i was sure that i was gonna wake up the next morning with like five thousand bumps on my face but luckily that did not happen i did not i actually actually i think that every single morning my skin appeared more moisturized and like just look better so second thing i will say is that your skin will look oily ish when you first apply it to your skin so when i first applied it as someone that already has oily skin i wasn't trying to use too much of it because i wasn't trying to you know multiply my oiliness and make it a lot worse so i was very generous with the amount of i was in like only a little bit but i would notice that my skin would appear more earlier than usual but the upside is that it goes away pretty, 
pretty fast I would say after like two three hours but luckily I'm already asleep by then but like when I wake up in the morning my skin just looks so plump so moisturized and it just looks so good I'm gonna try and find a picture of how my skin looks in the morning if I took one I'm not sure yet but my skin just always look better and I'm just like okay it works like it it definitely is a great product for hydration if you have dry skin I highly recommend doing this trick because um, I feel like it's gonna help your skin moisturize a lot but then again try it at your own risk but personally I did not go through any negative connotations or any negative reaction to this which is kind of weird because my skin tends to react negatively to skincare products but Particularly this one, I did not face anything negative on my with my skin. So I guess as a sign to like keep using it. But the thing is, will I continue doing this every single night from now on? I thought about this. I thought about doing this for 30 days, but I'm not sure. Okay? Personally, I did not see that big of a difference in my skin. But then again, it was only seven days and your skin doesn't really get to go through the whole process of getting a new skin barrier and getting a new surface of skin. It takes about 28 days for all that to happen. So that's probably why I didn't see a big difference. And honestly, going into this, I was expecting to get like breakouts. Like I was expecting something bad to happen, but nothing really happened except my skin just appeared more moisturized and more plump and glowy in the morning, which is a positive, a good thing. And that's definitely a reason to do this. But the initial like, oiliness just gets me like I don't know I just don't like it because I do my skincare routine pretty late at night I'm trying to do it like at 7 o'clock so that way like I have it on for a few hours before I go to bed but lately I've been tired and I've been doing it at like 9 o'clock and so after my skincare I go to bed immediately and so the product kind of rubs on my pillow and I've noticed that my pillow like has like grease stains on them because of my skin and I don't know it's just it's just a lot but I actually do think that if you guys want me to do this for 30 days like start over and do it like for 30 days in a row then I definitely will do it to see just to see like the long-term benefit of it honestly I think it was good I think it was good um, it wasn't like the magical <clears throat> like fix that TikTok made it to be like TikTok literally exaggerates everything like they need to tone it down a bit like everything is just so overly exaggerated and people just like i don't know but honestly i thought it was a pretty good experiment and at least i know now that it doesn't do anything bad to my skin if anything it actually helps to hydrate my skin so that'll be the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed it i hope that it was like it was helpful to you if you thought about trying Afghafor to slug your skin. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in three days. Bye.